Welcome to Venusian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be messages from your spirit team. So I want you to cast your gaze over the cards and ask your higher self which card has a message for you. We have part number one, part two, part three and part four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi group one. The first message I'm hearing for this group is don't be afraid of your power and leadership because I feel for this group, you're coming into a time or you have this potential of immense success and also visibility, but there could be some energies that you're working through with the six of cups and the emperor. I'm hearing past energies or a past version of yourself, like a self concept that you're healing and transmuting to be able to step into your full power because with the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands, I'm getting leadership, I'm getting divine teacher, like there's an energy here of you allowing, number one, your gifts to be seen, for some of you, wisdom to be shared, all your ideas to come into life, into full fruition, into success, but and again, I feel like for this group, you've already done a lot of inner work because I see this as the ladder of ascension, ladder to higher consciousness. I feel like you've been on this journey for some time, but it's like this path is turning or twisting and elevating you very rapidly. But there could be aspects of your consciousness that are not on board with this higher frequency. For some of you, you could have recently gone through an awakening or a shift and a spiritual ascension, and it's like you've leveled up, but there could be subconscious fears or blocks or doubts that are still lingering, that are still having an effect. I keep seeing for this group, you are meant to be seen. There's something here around like immense success, visibility, being in the public eye, uh, recognition, those energies are coming through so strong. And when I saw this card originally, I picked up the tarot deck and there was the sun on the bottom. And it's ironic because you have Ra activations here as well. So again, there's something about when I think of the sun, I do think of joy, abundance, success, the spotlight. Uh, I keep hearing you're meant for more as well. And it's like, as you expand your consciousness and release any limitations, limitations around what you feel you can receive, what you deserve, who you think you are, they're showing me like that container just keeps widening and more abundance and more grace can flow through it. But this process could be a little bit uncomfortable because again, I keep hearing this pockets or aspects of your consciousness that need to dissolve to make room for this. And again, I do feel it's linked in some way to either limiting beliefs or old ideas you had about yourself that just don't serve you anymore. And it's like spirit is wanting you. You may want to listen to subliminals or anything that helps shift your mindset around achieving or receiving, a, you know, extreme abundance, wealth. Because for this group, it, I'm getting like international or global. You have the potential to create something or have a level of success that is, you know, very well recognized, very well received. There could be some emotion coming up as well. I, I'm hearing fear, but there could be a little bit of, I don't know, anger potentially or power, not even anger. Do you know when you repress an aspect of yourself, your power, and it's like kind of bubbling under the surface, it's like there's more of that fire that's what I feel like, the repression of fire. There's more of that fire that you're stepping into, especially with the Queen of Wands and the Emperor. Not in a, an aggressive way. It's more like a um, not being afraid to really be lit up, passionate, go-getter, being in that power. I feel like the divine is guiding you through this process, but there could be elements that, I don't know, there's something that's creating or generating a level of fear, I feel, where you may be uncertain about stepping into the energy, or you may be worrying that, you know, perhaps it doesn't serve you, or mm, I don't know, there's like a part of your mind that may be trying to tell you certain things that uh, that are holding you back, right? With the Page of Cups, it's like, for many of you, this is some sort of offering, this could be like a business, a project, 
um, becoming a leader in a particular field or career path. But there could, again, be chatter of the mind that isn't conducive to what your soul is nudging you towards. And again, it's it's fear. But I feel like you're in this space of transcending these energies so you can fully step into your abundance. We have raising your vibration, light missions, ra activations. For many of you, you have a really significant purpose that you're here to fulfill and create. But sometimes when we're stepping into that energy, it can create a level of fear or self-doubt in that process. Okay, for your oracle card, we have fire and water, stillness amidst turmoil, feel emotional integration. So some of these pockets of consciousness I was feeling and sensing could be coming from like pockets of repressed emotion. Can you see how there's a volcano again? Maybe search the spiritual significance of volcanoes because we have them side by side. But there is this sense that there could be some emotion, difficult emotions, feelings, thoughts, beliefs that are coming up to the surface that you are working through right now or you are needing to move through. I'm also hearing this process. I feel like this group, you've been through many ascension journeys or processes broken down within your ascension path. Like there's a sense of one cycle of transformation, another cycle, another cycle. But this one could be like quite a large leap or level up because it's like your physical reality, it's going to feel like night and day, the change or transformation in what you're experiencing, especially your abundance levels or the levels of success. Especially if in the past you felt like you weren't as successful as what you wanted to be or, you know, you try to make traction or move forward, but it wouldn't pan out the way you hoped. It's like now things really start to move and we have peace beyond survival. Remember I said getting in touch with that power or fire that may have been a little bit repressed and you have master number 11 here. And I think when I think of the lion again, we have that Leo sun energy. I'm getting leadership spotlight. Um, really I'm hearing that song. This is me by, uh, what is it? I can't remember what, oh, The Greatest Showman. You may want to listen to that, but that's what I'm getting. And we have Peacemaker through Inner Peace, Resolving Ancient Splits. Yeah, there's duality or there's dual energies that are active within you where there's aspects or parts of your consciousness that you're bringing into union because, again, it's like one aspect is entering this new timeline, but there may be pockets of consciousness and emotion that, you know, perhaps you developed in the past or a self-concept that are tethering you to a lower timeline, lower vibration. Serious star blessings. Yes, proceed, be seen, push through. Push through, especially for those of you that are working towards a particular goal, business, or you're trying to expand something, whether it be on social media, there's movement here. I'm hearing keep going. This group, your energy is like the sun or a star, like you burn really bright. And the blessing of that is you're actually really gifted at transmuting energies and transmuting fear, um, you know, clearing away lower vibrations, clearing away negativity. And they're like anchoring in to your light, into your soul, like your soul essence, being in that vibration of divinity is what is helping you ascend or transform this vibration and energy. Yeah, I'm hearing don't be afraid. There could be some, because I said with six of cups, I was actually hearing your self-concept, aspects of your self-concept that have to be released or shed. But that could be at times a little bit daunting or there may be parts of you that want to hold on to that older energy or that older version of yourself. Yeah, like I feel like you're stepping, you know, and that, what's that saying? The emperor has new clothes or that there's a sense of like, and they're showing me an emperor being re, redressed, right? In a new outfit or in something that's more authentic to their true divine nature. So for a period of your journey or your life, there could have been this need to, I just heard camouflage. Perhaps you were in situations where you felt like you couldn't be this powerful. Perhaps there were people in your childhood or community that were intimidated by your light because they were not, they were not able to match that frequency. And it's almost like now it's like you're stepping into more of that energy. But again, it could be uncomfortable or disconcerting for people around you 
Not that that should be your problem, but it's like no, no longer, I keep hearing no longer squashing yourself. And that was what I was getting with that volcano because there's so much fire and power and passion and potential within you. But again, it may have had, you may have been put in a box. And again, that box or the matrix is what I'm hearing as well. And it's like, now it's like you're breaking out of that energy. Like I'm seeing limitless potential, limitless abundance, just that divine flow state. You have crystal skull wisdom. When I think of the crystal skull, again, I'm getting um, laying things to rest, laying the past to rest, but we have clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. So you have high vibrational energy and you have raising your vibration. So double confirmation above the ascension card for me. So double confirmation that you are ascending or triple confirmation that you are ascending, but it could be a rocky transformative process, especially right now. So I'm hearing don't be afraid or don't be you know, disconcerted if right now things feel a little up in the air or you feel confused. When I see smoky quartz, I also think of transmutation, transmuting old energies, releasing old vibrations, yeah, and expanding your mind. There's a lot happening in terms, yes, your self-concept, but it's almost like they're showing me someone deleting. (laughs) It's like you no longer have a concept of self, right, other than like allowing and moving and flowing with source. You're not identifying or attaching to labels and ideas about who you are or how your life should be or what you think about things. It's like you're not living through the mind anymore. But that could be a little frightening as you step into this new way of being, especially for your ego. Because I feel like your mind may be struggling to catch up with this new way of being, with this new identity, with this new energy. You also have crown portal and the number eight could be significant. Uh, I'm seeing the number eight repeating and number six. So you have divinity, unity, separation. That's with that crown portal above the emperor. It's like your mind is wide open. It's like ideas can flow to you. The divine can deliver messages. There's just this sense of, I just heard, now I'm hearing that song. I think it's by Shawn Mendes. There's nothing holding me back. I just get that sense like anything that was tethering you. It's like you're moving through life in a, in a way of detachment where it's like free flowing. There's nothing. It's not to say you won't have certain relationships or aspects of your existence that you enjoy or that you feel a connection to, but there's, it's like there's, you're not attached to the outcomes. You're not attached to the mental concept of how things should be. It's like you're not really living through the ego or the egoic mind anymore. And that's what's enabling so much to flow to you. Look, 8844. So wisdom, psychic, intuition, truth. With some of this healing and clearing that's going on, it's like you're able to hear the divine more clearly. And it's like the divine is guiding you step by step. And I keep hearing, listen to your heart not to your mind or your head because I feel like I feel as though there could be aspects of I keep feeling there's fear coming up or there may be an old version of you that isn't comfortable with who you're becoming that's like either tripping you up or trying to trip you up there's just this sense of needing to bring awareness and consciousness to those aspects And again, they are parts of your shadow, right? Because they're parts that you weren't fully aware of. But it's like bringing energy there, bringing awareness there so that you can transmute that energy and all of your being and consciousness is moving in this new aligned path. I think you have a really beautiful future ahead of you. Like with, and again, with these blue butterflies, I'm hearing a change, especially, but it's like transformation complete. It was successful. The rose has started to bloom and blossom. Um, I just feel like you're entering a brand new world and cycle and it's like a real level up compared to where you were previously. Like you're going to feel that your life has changed very drastically. You have companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an an astonishing gift. I'm hearing anchoring your presence in the present moment. But when you look at this card, can you see there's a couple here and a pair in here with these elephants? You may want to search the spiritual significance as well of elephants and lions. They could be spirit animals for you as well. But I feel like there could be a significant connection on this path with you and journey with you. 
And again, some of you may already have that. Some of you may be moving into that, but I see a connection here and gratitude sitting above the six of wands. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. And this is a flow state I was speaking of. You may be as well very much in a vibration of gratitude, which is bringing in like more abundance, more success, more um, downloads and wisdom in terms of how to proceed. But I just feel this beautiful, overwhelming energy of trust and it's it's almost like you're you're being led into your success and your, your highest timeline the highest version of yourself again there's a little bit of inner work i see you doing where you're clearing energy or moving through some energies but it's like happening in a way that i don't know how to explain it it's like you're moving your consciousness to it to it transmute it but it's not like a process of oh i've really got to change this and heal this and dig up this like it's a very gentle process and you may almost feel like once those shifts have happened internally and energetically in your consciousness you may feel like things just come to you but again it's a product of your alignment the change in your vibration and the the work the introspective work you've done in the past is what is preparing you for this and again i keep saying like coming into the sun whether that be for you, the spotlight, a really high vibration, definitely I'm seeing for this group. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group two. For this group, the first message I'm hearing is don't be afraid to rest or take time to go within and heal because there's this sense of with the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands, I'm hearing don't try to force anything or push something ahead before it's ripe. So there could be, because I, I keep feeling this sense that you get your best ideas in either silence, meditation, solitude, rest, where you're kind of, you know, going within, just being really quiet, connecting with the divine. For this group, I do feel like you're a channel for spirit and it could be channeled with creativity here, self-expression, life is your canvas. It could be channeled into a creative project or endeavor or art. I just see, yeah, there's a sense of allowing that energy to flow through you. Yeah, and I keep hearing as well, I'm drawn to this eagle. Eagles could be significant to you, but I'm getting like eagle eye view, bigger picture. For some of you with this nine of coins, there could be something that you're nine of coins and ten of pentacles. I'm hearing like golden ticket, golden idea. There could be something that you really feel drawn to, to work on, to create, to manifest in your world. But there's a sense I keep hearing it's like you have it, but it's like not not yet or not right now. There could be something that you're moving through energetically, emotionally, spiritually first before this really takes hold in the physical. And I keep feeling like keep trusting and following that path. Keep listening to the divine, to spirit and the messages that come through. You know, don't try to force things or force energies because it will happen or unfold at the right time. And again, I'm not saying never take action, but there's starting your reading here with the Four of Swords and Temperance right now in this moment that you're listening. I do feel there's something that's being balanced out energetically or something that you're coming into alignment with. And it's like right now, those energies are kind of grounding or there, there could be some energies that are being cleared any blockages. Yeah, with this Ace of Swords, it's like these could also be blocks of the mind, like financial I'm hearing specifically blocks to finances and greater success um, because you're heading for the Ten of Pentacles, but it's like there, there's some energies that are cleared first before you get there. And then it's like once this clearing and healing or shifting has taken place energetically, like everything is firing on all cylinders with this Eight of Wands. There's, you know, huge progress, success, abundance, movement, a lot of prosperity, I feel. Yeah, but I just keep hearing, you may identify as well with the Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Wands with closing out a cycle or closing out one chapter or one state of being. And it's like that has to close out completely before you can, I just heard, set things in motion before things can start moving for you. I just keep hearing as well, be open to divine inspiration. 
like now may be a really beautiful time to invite the divine source, your guides to meditate with you or to, you know, be open or affirm that you're open to receiving ideas or spiritual support because I feel like there is divine guidance and assistance around you. But again, you have to be like open or you need to ask for said guidance and support. It's like you're creating something with the divine or well, the divine is creating something through you. But again, I keep hearing divine timing and divine alignment. Things can't come in. It's like you have to be in a specific frequency for either the idea to come in or for things to unfold and flow from said idea, whether this be like a project, a business, a creative path. Yeah, like spirit just keeps saying divine alignment. And I feel like you're in a frequency or a time or phase right now where you're being, um, I just said tweets energetically, where things are shifting. Yeah, it's almost like a transition phase. And it's like they want you to hold the faith or don't take this as well as a sign that, oh, it won't happen. Or maybe I'm on the wrong path. Like, I don't feel that for you. But again, you have to trust your instincts as well. But there's just this sense of certain energies have to be in place or a certain frequency for these things to unfold or for these things to progress and move ahead. You may notice a lot of energies falling away, preparing for this new cycle. I'm also hearing keep your own counsel. So this could be a time and period as well where you're really seeking your guidance internally rather than looking for answers externally. And that's why Spirit was asking you to really call on them during times of meditation or reflection because I feel, number one, there's a specific idea I'm hearing or pentacle that you create that leads to potentially a legacy or a lot of abundance and it's like you, but I keep hearing you receive your guidance in silence. Like there's a need to take time out to just be with yourself. You may be noticing like um, being around others or being in group settings or could even be like shopping centers or just really busy environments is specifically challenging or draining right now. Uh, I just get this energy. I just heard energy, energetic overload. You may also want to shift or clean up your lifestyle or routine where there's not a, you're not being bombarded with external energies that could be through like media, um, you know, taking a social media break, or it could be through, I don't know, television. There, there could just be a, a need to not have energies imprint upon yours, I, you know, in a way that feels right for you. You don't need to be afraid of those things, but there's just a sense of taking a step back and almost going into this kind of cocoon so you can hear spirit and connect. I'm hearing when the time and the energy is in alignment, things will start to move. And yes, you still will be required to take action, but they, they're making me feel like if you were to take this idea or keep or try to push it too much before it's ready, it would actually create more resistance. Spirit may be helping you to clear out mental blocks or resistance within you first, so that you have a smooth run with this. And your first card, essences and energies, attuned to subtle energies, balance, frequency holders. I'm seeing repeating uh, eight, the number eight for you, and nine. So abundance and closing out cycles. But this is what I was saying, like balance frequency holders. It's like spirit needs you in a particular frequency to be able to either receive this idea or download or to align to it and the results in the physical. And it's like, if you were to begin too soon, it would not have the beautiful outcome that you deserve. And you have inner child attunement, go within, listen, loving parenting. And again, listen to yourself is what I'm hearing. So you could be healing as well, your relationship with yourself. I'm feeling like more compassion, your self-talk could be um, softening and you could be releasing as well any negative thoughts or beliefs that you've had about yourself. Even a pattern I just heard of being perfectionistic or overly critical with yourself, but also with your creative ideas or your inspired ideas, because there's a need to not, I'm hearing not pick things apart and allow things to flow. I feel like for your unique path, project, 
um, like the journey that you're on, you may find it's challenging to find really aligned external guidance. There could be a sense that when you seek externally, um, it kind of falls short or it's like it'll give you a glimpse. Like you may hear like one sentence of what you need that relates or resonates, but then the rest of it doesn't. This is very much a journey. I just keep hearing between you and spirit and you and God, and it needs to be guided from within, essentially. It's like you have that map on your heart, right? And it's leading you step by step in the sense of what's next. But they keep saying, don't try to go a step ahead. Don't try to push ahead or try to see exactly how everything will pan out long term. They want you to take it one step at a time. And you have Earth Star activation, anchoring, grounded action, Isis energy above nine of pentacles. So again, builder energy. Right now you could be grounding in these higher frequencies. And again, you'll be prompted. They're showing me someone, again, building a house. So laying the foundation, making sure it's stable and solid before proceeding and moving ahead. There's something around you making sure that you're you know, you're ready or you're in a place where, and of energetic alignment, where things can start to really move toward you. Yeah. Spirit is saying rather than, you're also learning how to magnetize, how to flow from a place. It's almost like the embodiment of divine feminine energy, receptivity, rather than like force in any way. And when I say force, it's like trying to change things on a physical level before changing things internally and energetically, the divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidences. It's like when you work in unison with spirit, things will flow step by step. There will be a sense of, okay, you may have a connection as well to Isis or ancient Egypt, but there's a sense of, you know, allowing, still taking action as prompted and guided, but allowing it to happen step by step. And again, it's like spirit is saying there's energies within you, even belief systems or even a way of doing things or approaching change that isn't fully in alignment with the vibration of this idea project and what you're building. And it's like, that has to be cleared out first before things can really start to move and you can propel yourself forward in the physical, or you will be propelled by spirit forward because sitting above the ace of swords, you have challenges, blocks, fears, and negativity betrayal. So again, um, this can be self-sabotage, limiting beliefs. I keep hearing perfectionism, like being overcritical of an idea before it's fully taken form. Um, yeah, fear around fear. It could be fear around finances. I just heard, but it could also be fear around your potential. Like, can I do this? Am I capable of this? There's just that sense of at times you may either hold yourself back or just be afraid. I just heard afraid of fully jumping in as well. So there could be a need to, you know, for example, take a risk or put yourself out there. And again, spirit is saying, I'm not, I'm not feeling this is happening or needs to happen right now, but there's a need to be open to that energy, to be open to the new, to be in an energy that's a little more kind of expansive. And I just keep hearing and feeling for you as well. Like go, like spirit has the answers, go within. Don't try to find these answers in the physical world because they're not there. I shouldn't say they're not there, but then they're, they're, they're not going to be as specific and aligned to your unique destiny. Cause they keep showing me like a map engraved on your heart space. You have a really specific either project business or idea or some, something you're here to communicate and share that wants to flow through you. Yeah, some of you could resonate as well with self-expression. I just heard messenger. Okay, sitting above the 10 of pentacles, master number 11, emergence. And can you see steps 10, 11, creation, resurrection, magician. If you felt in the past, you were trying to push an idea, a business, a career path ahead, but it, like it wasn't working. You kept hitting blocks or you started to kind of give up on it and think maybe this can't happen. Maybe this isn't for me. Again, there were energies that had to clear internally. There were changes that needed to be made on an inner level first before things could really start moving in the physical. Yeah, but they're saying that light is about to turn green. 
and where there were blocks and walls and barriers, it's like now it's wide open or it will be wide open guidance. When, look, you have like the North Star that you're following. This is what I was trying to say. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. If you seek guidance externally it, at this time, it may actually confuse you more. Because what I'm feeling, it's like the only way to your treasure or your gold is through your heart space, through the divine and following that. And it's almost like they keep showing me a map like following this map. I don't know if some of you as well in the future will be prompted to move or there's some sort of travel here as well, but there's a sense of, and that won't resonate for everyone, but there's a sense of going step by step and navigating it through the divine guidance and through, through your inner self. Mm. Yeah. Like they're showing and there could be like really subtle twists and turns or shifts you have to make. And the thing is, if you were trying to find that specific guidance outside of yourself, it's just going to be more confusing. You also have invite help. You may have a connection to Green Tara, but again, I'm getting really strong prosperity. It's like following this map not only leads you to your star, but it leads you to so much abundance. Invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready. God, pursue me. And that's the thing. It's like silence is necessary for this journey because you have to be deeply aligned. Like we are obviously all source consciousness. We are all divine, but it's like you have to almost be the embodiment of the divine and have such a close connection with source for this to manifest or for this to come into form because of how specific it's almost like God, the divine source may create or write or channel something directly through you. So it's like, you have to almost be like this open vessel. Yeah. I'm hearing a vessel for spirit for this to flow through. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi group three. So the first message I heard with that rose quartz and we have alchemy of love, peace, offering, compassion, Venus energy. Um, if you're not looking for connection in any way, or you don't want a reading about relationship, then this is not your group. Because what I'm feeling with this rose quartz is you're either change, you have changed or you are changing your perception of love and connection. Well, love, connection, and relationships. It doesn't have to only be romantic. This could be also about platonic connections. But we have Queen of Swords and King of Swords. So we have counterpart energy here. But with this strength card, I'm getting the energy of someone that's really used to going, going it alone. Like being, perhaps you've had to be very independent in your life. Or you've had connections that really let you down or hurt you in the past. And there's a sense of like that slate being wiped clean with the fool and the queen of swords. It's like letting those guards down or dissolving some of the barriers around the heart space, around relationship, connection, union, or how you perceive it. And again, I'm not, I'm not speaking about codependency or losing your autonomy, but there's a need. Sometimes we go so far to one extreme. There's a need to come into balance. You may be in this phase or entering a phase where you're far more receptive to communion, union, connection, because I feel for this group, you've done a lot of inner work with the queen of swords and king of swords. I get the sense that you're completely whole within your divine masculine and divine feminine elements. You've come into union with self. And it's like from that vibration that naturally will be reflected in the physical and the types of connections that you find or meet. Yeah, but with the Two of Swords and the Lovers, there's almost like ambivalence here. All right, and you've got Two of Wands, the Lovers, and the Two of Swords. So again, very strong energy around ambivalence or feeling divided around. This could be around one specific connection. This could be around opening up completely to love. Being vulnerable is another thing I'm hearing. But it could also be, again, like just, I just heard uncertainty. Yeah, like you may be overcoming uh, with the Queen of Swords, like a tendency to overthink as well, especially overthink situations that frighten you or make you feel vulnerable. Because it's like, you know, when it comes to love and connection, right, when it involves someone else, there's always a sense of vulnerability. There's a sense of, you know, like you can't control 
how things unfold. So there's almost a need to completely surrender into the experience. And again, I'm not talking about not listening to your intuition. If your intuition is telling you that someone is not aligned to you or something does not feel right for you, then by all means, you know, move away from that situational person. But I just get the sense of being more open or more receptive to the energies that want to come to you and flow into your life, especially around relationship and partnership. Sacred Mountain, Vision Quest, Clarity and Truth, Shambhala, Deep Healing. Again, you may have been on very much like a solitary journey or your spiritual path, your, your, your Dharma, you kind of creating the life that feels right for you. You could have had to walk alone for a period of time. And again, this isn't only true in terms of romantic connections. This, you may not have had a lot of support around you. And that's where this fierce independence has developed from. Like perhaps you grew up in a home life where you, you were quite different or they didn't really understand your vision and what you wanted for yourself or the future. Perhaps there were people that were more like naysayers or a little bit negative around you know, what you could do or what you could be. So there was a need to kind of be fiercely independent in your thought, in your action. But it's like coming to a point, I feel like your soul is really wanting to connect. Well, there's an energy here where your soul is yearning for some sort of like connection or opening to others. It could be like you were in a phase or cycle of your journey where it was very much about self, about self-discovery, deep healing, ascension, but you're coming, it's like you've, the road has taken you as far as it can and you're entering another phase or another cycle or even entering a connection that is very much about growing or learning together. And again, depths of love, 10, uh, let go of fear to jump into love, let go beyond attachments. And can you see that this queen of swords is still holding those attachments or a little bit of fear and hesitation. And again, you can't force this process. If there is some fear, you need to sit with it, be with it, move through it, work through it and transmute it. But there's a sense of don't allow your mind or what has been in the past to block what's meant for you now, especially in terms of, for some of you, a really beautiful connection. And again, trust your instincts and you have to make the decision that feels right for you. But it's like, I just keep hearing like, don't be, I just said, don't be too harsh on yourself, but don't be too harsh on others as well. Yes, still have your boundaries, but there's a difference between boundaries and guards. And that's what I feel like. I feel like some of these energies are kind of dissipating. You may notice like you feel a little softer in the sense that you may feel literally feel your heart softening because there's some sort of change and activation and transformation around the heart chakra where you're more I don't know you may feel like you're more in that kind of free-flowing romantic energy where it's and it could be a little different to the energy you were in previously but I feel like it's in preparation for a connection for some of you, whether you want it to be romantic or platonic. And look, Pleiadian activation, you may be a Pleiadian star seed. I also get a connection to dolphins as a spirit animal. We have coming together, harmony in the heavens resolution. Yeah, I keep hearing coming into union. Now, I do feel you've come into union with self as well, but I do feel like there's there's definitely at least one significant connection in the physical world that you've either met or that's coming in. And again, you can choose whether it's romantic or platonic. I do feel for some of you, it is romantic though. Yeah, it's like coming into, you've attained so much on your own with that strength card, but it's like now it's time or there's a potential to share it with another, to come into alignment with another, to embrace or to grow with someone else. Yeah, I am presence, light body activation, ac accessing the divine within. Yeah, it's like you've come into your full power and your full light and expression. And I feel like this individual has as well. This is definitely like a spiritual connection and a spiritual bond. But it's about being open to that energy now. We have sanctuary, healing and comfort, faith, restoration. It's the restoration of faith and it's the restoration of your heart. It's like your heart has fully healed with the lovers from either past connection, past situations, doves could be significant as well. Like you may see doves or any type of like white bird, but I'm getting peace and purity and harmony. If you felt like you're in a cycle or you've had a lot of experiences in the past where you had to fight, fight to be heard, fight to protect yourself, 
fight to be recognized, whatever it may be. It's like, even I just heard fighting to prove your worth. Like you may have had people that either didn't see your worth or tried to diminish you. It's like you're coming out of that energy as well, where you're able to just fully show up as you are. I just heard in your authenticity, it's because you've established that within yourself and your own relationship with self. So now it can be seen in the physical or will be seen and recognized in the physical. I keep hearing trust as well. There's something around having full faith and trust and letting down sort of any like barrier barriers or guards around the heart that could be a little bit scary because I keep feeling that energy, but I feel like that's what's happening right now. And you can see this beautiful light being, and it's like the light is extending outward, dissolving barriers. Yeah, say so cool. You're going through changes or healing around um, the heart chakra and the sacral chakra. And again, it's healing the divine feminine energy within you. And that's irrespective of gender. We have sacral portal, creativity, intimacy, inhibition. You may as well be more comfortable connecting with people with the king and queen of swords on a mental level, or like there could be some fears around emotional vulnerability. I just keep hearing that. But again, there's definitely this new, there's either like a really deep connection coming in, or there could be like more than one situation where there's this, this depth, this, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain. It's like, um, there's no barriers, not that there's no boundaries, but there's no barriers in the sense that both souls are just so in sync energetically. Yeah, like really divine type of connection, but there could be, again, some hesitation or fear around this. You're also entering into a time where if you have felt unsupported by other people, by life, like, oh, I've got to do it alone. I've got to make things happen. That cycle has ended. It's like you've developed the skill of discernment. You have your independence. Um, you, you couldn't be swayed off your path now, irrespective of who came towards you or what their offer was. And it's like, because of that, because you're so steadfast in who you are, that's what's creating this as well. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like you needed a really solid sense of self, you and this other person, so that when you met, it's like you wouldn't just mold into each other or meld into each other. That's what I'm getting. That's really strange. But I don't know, like this connection is really powerful. You have deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. The struggle is over and you're entering an era of peace. Peace, harmony, stability with the king of coins. Mm. Especially if you had that with connection. But with deepening, I am also getting that sense of deepening a bond. Yeah. And it's like feeling safe to love. Feeling safe to go deep in connection with someone. And this can be, again, it doesn't only have to be romantic. I feel like th there's a new kind of era or energy. I just saw 1111 on the timer. For some of you, this is a divine union. But it's like there's this new era of vulnerability and being more kind of emotionally open and available and free-flowing. Like the way you approach other people, but also life and situations has completely shifted or will be shifting. And it's like, I keep hearing you don't, you will be safe. Like there's not, if you've had situations in the past where you fell and again, use your discernment, like your intuition will be telling you what's a lot, who and what is aligned to you and what isn't. But there's a sense if you've had situations in the past that just were not an energetic match, I feel like that isn't repeating itself. There's a sense that you know, you can trust that what you can trust what's meant for you. You can flow and move, you know, with life, with, with different situations. And again, I, when I think of a cat, I, I keep getting like fierce independence. Some of you as well, like black cats, maybe a sign for you, but it's like you've attained mastery within yourself and your own soul. But it's like there's something to be gained through experiencing that with another. You may be seeing like 1221 or 1212 as well, like, or mirroring numbers like 14, 14, 18, 18. That's what I keep seeing for you. And your final card, worth. Tigers could be seen. Again, I, you have a really strong connection to cats. 
You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. And this is a thing I mentioned before, needing to prove, feeling like you had to prove your worth or people that did not recognize your worth or value right off the bat. So you may have very much been on an independent journey or journey of self where you were developing, you know, your self-love, self, self-worth, independence. These are the themes, discernment, boundaries, and you still need to take obviously that wisdom with you or those lessons with you. But it's like now you're entering a phase where you're so strong in your, you know, your essence, your soul essence, your energy field, that even if someone or something was to come in to try to encroach upon that, you would still be able to hold your own frequency. You wouldn't get lost in that energy. And spirit is saying it's like balancing those boundaries and that separation in individuality with communion and connection and, you know, really connecting with not only the divine, so you've connected deeply with the divine within yourself, but now you can connect deeply with the divine, the, with the divine in, in another where it comes together. There's something about that that's quite significant for your soul's blueprint or your evolution moving forward. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group four. The first message I heard for you is things are aligning beautifully and your dreams are coming into fruition or manifestation. So yeah, like there's something about being aligned spiritually or energetically with yes, what you've been manifesting, but it could also be like um, the right people, the right connection. I just see everything coming together in this beautiful tapestry. And for some of you, this could have been a long time coming with the hangman because I'm getting patience, waiting. There could have been a period of time where you kind of had to wait it out or you were uncertain whether this day would ever appear, whether you would ever have your time in the sun is what I'm hearing because I feel like these cards should be switched, like the moon. Hang on. I feel like you you're coming out of either the shadows or a period where you were doing kind of shadow work or working behind the scenes into this energy, into the sun, into success or manifestation in general. Yeah, I feel for this group, you've had to do a lot of shadow work, but it's really paid off because I feel like you have healed completely or you're just, I keep hearing you're in your highest vibration. You're showing up as your best and highest self. And from this place, yeah, like things just naturally seem to be aligning. And again, they're not, you have done the work and you have set things in motion because spirit's making me feel like things you could have been trying to manifest like years ago are now coming into fruition because of the change in your energy field and because of your alignment. But these are things as well that are your, are your true heart's desires. These aren't like, oh, I wish I were, you know, rich or, oh, I wish I'd blow up on social media. Like these are things. And again, they could be your desires, but it's anchored to something deeper, right? Like, and it's not just one area of your life either. It's like, yeah, it's like a, a sense of purpose with the star and the nine of cups. It's like feeling fully aligned with your destiny. And then all those blessings and benefits come along with it, such as having, you know, it could be blowing up on social media or having a following. Uh, it could be definitely increased abundance, in, in, increased exposure or success, depending on, you know, what area you're in or working on. Also the right connections like soulmate, soul tribe energies and uh, we have lilac spirit quartz community healing division teamwork freedom yeah you've really broken free i feel like for this group you've broken free from any remaining karma or any energies that were kind of binding you the the crystal we have amateur but i'm hearing is specifically amethyst could be really important for you and also citrine like individually but as specifically amethyst I'm hearing. And I feel for this group, it's like anything that felt eh, with healing division, I feel like it's division within yourself. Like if you felt there were blocks within you or like your soul was pulling you in one direction, but your mind was going in another, or you wanted something to manifest, but then you had subconscious limiting beliefs that were pulling you back. It's like, that's healing now where it's like, you can be in full alignment and things are happening. I just keep hearing things may feel a little, almost like they're effortless or they're flowing in such a way that it just, everything unfolds beautifully in a way you weren't expecting. 
But again, I keep hearing it has to do with, yes, alignment, but some of this is divine timing. I feel like there were certain connections or people that you needed to or were going to meet at a particular time frame. And it's like, what? It's like spirit wants you, you know, when something's a surprise or things appear in a way that's synchronistic and it's like, oh, wow, it's like you're really living the story, right? When you know the, the next turn, when you know how things are going to unfold, sometimes it kills that joy and the spontaneity and the excitement of how it comes to be. And it's like, so you may have, things may have been hidden from you behind this veil. Like you could have literally felt like, okay, you know, I'll just content myself with where I'm at. Maybe this dream is never going to come in. Maybe this person is never going to come in. There's something around you almost like just kind of letting go of it, forgetting you were even manifesting this, and then it appears. But it's your energetic signature. The heart, your heart frequency is what is enabling this to come in. Yeah. And it's like, because I feel for this group, you have a really pure heart and you have a big heart. And I feel like you're someone that even if there was no hope in the world and everyone's like, you know, you're crazy, give up on this. Like this can't happen. It's never going to happen. Like your heart will just be like, no, like I still, I still have faith. I'm still holding on that not holding on like energetically, like tethering yourself to it, but like your, your heart never lost faith and hope. You know, you never stopped trusting in spirit. You never stopped trusting in the possibility for a new day. I'm hearing this song, is it by Celine Dion, A New Day Has Come? Yeah, it's like, uh, I see the light in your eyes. Yeah, there could be a significant connection here too with Four of Wands. You're just going to enter a phase where you honestly feel like you've been touched by God, touched by spirit touched by the universe it, just the extent of the blessings but again i feel like some of you you may have given up on this or you may have like people may have also found you or thought like perhaps your intentions or what you were manifesting were naive or there could have been an element of it feeling a little impossible to people who are more pragmatic but it's like it's almost like you're proving them wrong or you're proving it wrong in the sense of what's about to unfold for you or what may be unfolding as well right now what's coming in you have with the star, Ellen of the Ways. Attuned to nature's signs to find your way, follow your heart. But this is the thing, I feel like you never stopped listening to your heart. You knew all along what you were here to do, what was waiting for you. I feel like every time group four are very advanced souls. You know, like I just feel really powerful energy for the souls often that pick group four. Well, that's true of a lot of the the groups but group four specifically i feel like i don't know i feel like there's some sages or just you know very ancient souls clicking mm. yeah it's like you didn't just trust physical sight right like it's like your eyes were showing you this darkness nothing there you're just seeing the veil but you knew this was waiting for you and it's like you kept walking step by step kept holding faith kept going Kept loving yourself and loving spirit. You have a Lemurian shaman. Shadow dissolving in gaze of truth, going beyond fear, initiation. Yeah, you may have been, your faith may have been tested and this could have been an initiation of sorts when the divine was kind of not, not testing, but seeing how much you wanted it and what you were willing to do or how you were willing to move through the world in order to align to this. But I feel like, I just feel like there's no fear that could have held you back from this or fear does not have an effect on you to the degree it may others. You're definitely a star seed. Star gathering, stars aligned, remembering home, soul family. That's exactly what I was saying. It's like you're coming into union with soul family, the right people, the right opportunities. And I kept, I think I said at the beginning, there's like divine alignment happening. This group, you're definitely ancient starseed souls. That's what I'm getting. Like you've incarnated in a lot of different dimensions. Um, and you may have a connection to ancient Lemuria as well. I also feel like you've had a lot of incarnations as some sort of um, seer, 
priestess, shaman, your connection with source and the divine is very evolved. And I do feel that it's like you couldn't forget what, number one, you've always known, for example, or you've always been awakened. The veil didn't fully drop for you, where you could always sense. You may not have seen what was behind the veil always, but you could sense energetically what was behind the veil. And that is perhaps what kept propelling you to move forward. Higher heart activation, dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. And it's like your spirit team are congratulating you on healing your heart completely because it's like now you're just merging with divine love. It's like you're the embodiment of divine love. And that's what creates these miracles in the physical world because of that energetic frequency that you are now holding and embodying. Now, like, but people looking may just be like, how did you do it or what is happening? Because it's like your your physical real, reality may take like a 180, like I'm hearing like night and day. There's a shift that's happening. It's happened internally already through your alchemy and your transformation. But it may look like night and day in terms of your lived reality and how your physical reality is changing and expressing itself. So if an observer were to watch they or someone say that knew you 10, 10 years ago or however however many years ago were to look, they would be, you know, kind of baffled or number one, I'm hearing they were right all along. You know, what they saw for themselves and what they were working toward was in alignment. But there's a sense of, I don't know, like they, they may not be able to believe like uh, I'm also hearing how are they doing it because these could be as well people that are more logical or pragmatic. Perhaps you've been doubted a lot in your life or like seen as a dreamer or just around people that were not at your level of consciousness, were not able to understand the vision you had. You also have awakening sit sitting above the moon, ancient knowledge, memories, connection. Again, you are an ancient soul. With What did I say? You are fully awakened and you are the embodiment of divine love, but you have awakening above the veil. And that's what I was saying. I, I don't know if the veil ever fully dropped for you. I feel like even as a child growing up, you knew, you know, certain spiritual truths that perhaps were not as accessible to others. You also are really gifted at astral travel, like shifting timelines, dropping into past lives and accessing information there. You also have manifestation 29, master number 11, yeah, above the sun, prosperity, fortune, pure intentions, your pure heart and your pure faith in the divine is what is manifesting and aligning you with this energy with miracles. And it's like, you're going to be blessed in every area. Like I'm seeing connection, soul, family, soulmate energy. I'm seeing abundance. I'm seeing you're going to have access as well to greater spiritual gifts. I just saw 1129 as well on the timer. Yeah. Greater spiritual gifts gifts, knowledge, wisdom. Uh, for this group, you have so many, so much wisdom and so many spiritual gifts and talents that you could, if you wanted to share that energy with others, or there could be something that you build upon or create in the physical from that energy. Like you may be prompted by spirit or by your own soul and essence to create something, write something, share something. There could be like a business that you're sharing this in. Um, I just heard you're very magical souls. You're definitely the alchemist, like never doubt your ability to create. But there's also with your energy, like you're almost um, kind of surrendered with everything. I get the sense that it's like you've mastered that non-attachment where you can manifest, set the intention, but then, then you're very good at releasing it and not holding on too tight. And that's part of your success. For some of you, you have a lot of wisdom you could share with others around manifestation or how to change reality. Like you, I just keep hearing you are the alchemist and you also have self-love sitting above four of wands. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. I feel like you've already done that. Like look at the connection you forge with your inner child or your inner self. Because I also feel you have a very strong connection with the divine. You, you, you are the embodiment of love. And I feel like this self-love is what brings in, you know, soulmates, soul family, soul tribe, connections that are reflecting that energy that you've developed. Yeah, there's no longer, it's like you're in complete harmony or unison with self. 
there's it's like you've dissolved the shadows it's like you have fully stepped into the light energetically and that's an ending consciousness and that's what's creating this transition in the physical world from the moon back to the sun and it's when you think of sun and moon, we think of masculine and feminine energy. So again, you brought them into union and balance within self, which must be reflected in the physical. You also have letting go. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Yeah, you're really good at letting go. No, but that's what brings, that's what is bringing these manifestations in. And that's what I was saying. For some of these things, you may not even remember manifesting it. Like you may have, set things in motion years ago and you may have almost thought like oh well you know maybe it's not for me maybe it won't come in and just let go and surrender completely and it's like now it comes in now you're reaping those rewards now you're being blessed with the fruits of your energy field is what i'm hearing the fruits of your consciousness and it's like you're embodying such a high frequency of love divine love unconditional self-love self-compassion harmony peace that it's like there's no blocks and it's almost like the floodgates are open because in the past you were kind of okay this I want to align to this I'm coming into alignment or setting in motion this intention and now it's like it's all flowing back to you because of that energy and I feel like your spirit team are really proud of you your higher self like you should be really proud of yourself for this journey and for your transformation and just how you show up in the world is so beautiful so that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day.